All right, so if this is something new we are introducing to you here on Samiflex TV. We know you are very busy. We know you don't get all the time to read all the big stories online. Therefore, Samiflex TV, we are bringing to you what we call the quick news. Now, the quick news will give you all the highlights in the entertainment industry, especially in Ghana, because this is where we are. We are Ghanaians, and we're going to give you everything Ghana. My name is Samiflex, and this will be coming your way every weekday from Monday Monday to Fridays and it is going to be at 9 p.m. on Samiflex TV so this is what you have to do you have to subscribe you have to share tell someone that we can now watch entertainment news on Samiflex TV presented by Samiflex and produced by currency as well as K-Boy Multimedia now let's go into the stories today we are looking at some four main stories um, the first one being uh, Shatawale and uh, Michi let me read this story actually from mynewsgh.com and mynewsgh.com has written that baby mama of Shatawale Michi says living Shatawale has made her happy really Michi, are you happy after leaving Shatawale? Let's read more. Now, Michi was with Shatawale throughout his journey to stardom. The lady played a key role in the success he is currently enjoying. However, they have gone their separate ways after a little confusion that ensued between them. Michi was speaking to Giovanni on 3FM's Drive Time show, mentioned that she's not happy and does not need to check her weight again. <laughs> Why was Shatawale complaining that Michi was putting on weight or something like that? The story ends this way. She mentioned that she is currently free like a bed that has been very healthy for her. So it is obvious that during the days of their courtship or when they were dating, uh, Shata Michi was not happy. Uh, Michi was not really, really cool like that. But then, obviously, she was uh, playing to the gallery. She was always laughing to the cameras during interviews and all that. But then, she's not happy. So, anytime you meet the new Shata Michi, you should know that she is very, very happy, doing very, very so much well, or doing so much well. So, guys, this is our first story on the quick news here on Samiflex TV. Shata Michi says she is happy without Shata. Tawale. Now let's move on to other stories and this we are reading from zionfelix.net and Zion Felix himself is one of the living bloggers we have in Ghana and he's giving us this story on Stone Boy and Black City. If you have been following our industry for the past weeks obviously you might have heard that it is not well between Stone Boy and his longtime manager Black City. Some people are saying it is because of money, others are saying it is because of Stone Boy's wife and it goes on like that whether it is because of money stone boy's wife or maybe work gone bad uh, zion felix has a story for you and this is what i want to share with you remember it is on zionfelix.net it says after the bruhaha hearsay and speculations Ghanaian dance hall artist stone boy and his manager black city have been seen together again Stone Boy and Black City spotted at Reverend Obofwa's wife's birthday. Well, it took the man of God to bring them together. So who knows? Maybe the man of God met them in some corner and has settled the issues between them. But then let's go deep into the story. Now, the duo was spotted at Reverend Obofwa's wife's birthday party. Zion Felix.net can report. The leader and founder of Anointed Palace Chapel organized a gargantuan birthday party for his beloved wife, Sierra, and the occasion was graced by many. Many prominent people, including Stone Boy and Black CD, who were reportedly not okay with themselves. Now, the alleged fracas was widely spread within the Ghanaian media space, but it appears the issue has been resolved now. That that is if it actually happened. Many entertainment critics told Zion Felix on the Uncut show what they believe could have caused the Stone Boy Black CD issue and how it could be solved. And as a matter of fact, I also have reliable information that really and truly so many things were not going well between Stone Boy and his manager, Black City. In fact, Young Night TV said, uh, Out of this tour, uh, the sugar tour, uh, Stone Boy, uh, you know, 
it is in Sensimbi, a PM Mumbai. But if you know Black City, he is that gentleman who wouldn't rush to come out to say much. He is that gentleman who always take things calm and cool. So maybe who knows? Everything is settled. They are together, and it is not the first time that they have been seen together. After news came out that they were not working anymore, I think during the kod um rhythms on the runway show they were also seen together stone boy and black city were also seen together doing their, their own thing so we hoping that it does not come to pass that really they are no more working really and truly some of us we don't even want it to happen because when it happens, one would be affected. Maybe Stone Boy would be affected, or better still, Black City might be affected. Let's get into that. We are still here on the quick news presented to you by Sammy Flex, chief editor on SammyFlex.com. And I'm giving you all the stories making headlines here in Ghana's entertainment industry. Remember, this comes your way every day at 9 p.m. on Sammy Flex TV. So tell someone, let's share and do it together like that. The next story is mind-blowing, and I'm actually going to read this story from Eugene Osafon Kansan, a.k.a. Konkwansan. Konkwansan works with Despite Media. He has his own blog on Instagram that is doing very, very well called Konkwansan. And there is this big story here. The story is big. Obviously, I'll be attaching the videos for you to see. Now, the story comes with a headline. It has also been published on PeaceFMOnline.com. It comes with the headline, Singer removes her underwear on stage. And all but all but all the battery can I say, and Stage, so let's get into the story and maybe you get to understand it and see it feely feely for yourself. An upcoming Ghanaian singer has done the unthinkable on stage in Accra. Now, the singer known as Bad Girl Nafisa was captured on stage removing her panties in front of a huge crowd while she was performing. I know you're asking yourself, what for? Removing your panty? Is that part of the singing? Well, let's continue with the story. The indecent act happened on Sunday, September 1st, 2019, during her performance at rapper Tiny's 2019 edition of Hacho Homowo with Tiny and Friends concert event. During her performance at the concert held at Hacho Town Park, she took off her panties and flipped it in the air to entertain the crowd. Now, Bad Girl is known for nudity. She recently went viral with her music video called pussy controller which many described as porn now the performance you have to see it and i know you are asking yourself so many questions what will make a female artist remove her panty on a stage first of all i am thinking about the act it could be that that was not the only panty she was wearing yeah that was just a display for her to be in the news but then what if it had gone bad you wouldn't know what would have happened because looking at the performance, she removed the panty and she was waving it on the stage. This is what people are doing just to get the attention of the media. Um, I wouldn't call it bad. I wouldn't call it good. As much as uh, she has not offended anybody, if we are okay and she is also okay, what is our worry? But then it is our prayer that it doesn't go bad for her one day. Because should it go bad, madam, you regret forever. You get yourself to be blamed. But then we wish you well. If this will put you in the news, if this will make you happy and your management as well as your handlers, why not? Her name is Bad Girl Nafisa. Maybe you would have to check her out more. Check out some of her songs, whether she is good or not. Now for... And... We're going to our very final story here on uh, the quick news on Sammy Flex TV. Interestingly, one of my favorite girls has always been on the lips of so many people. She has been bashed left, right, center as to what happens before she gets all those uh, bashed from people. It is still not clear to me. Her name is Wendy Shea. I'm loving Wendy Shea for so many reasons. Maybe I'm loving Wendy Shea for what people are doing to her. But then, a uh, latest story, which I'm reading on PCFM Online, also says, Wendy Shea provides proof suggesting she owns the Jeep Wrangler. I think over the weekend, somewhere Saturday or Sunday, and when Dishay shared a photo of herself sh sitting on... Uh, 
a Jeep Wrangler with the regist with a registration number C2319. A Jeep Wrangler with registration number C2319. Ever since this story came out, so many people have suggested that when you say this is a total lie. In fact, this is a total cheat in the voice of Fancy Gadam. This is a total cheat. The car does not belong to you. You can't even buy this car. Now, when she wants to prove to the naysayers that really and truly the car belongs to her. Let's go into the story. Now, Rough Town Record signee when she just squashed rumors suggesting that she isn't the real owner of the new Jeep Wrangler. She was sitting on it. Now, the Steve Wonder crooner took to her Instagram handle to show proof that indeed she is the owner of the car. When she posted a photo of the license, that proves that the car is hers. She posted the photo with a caption, we just they make them wonder. Hashtag Ashiwe, hashtag Shea2319, uh, Atamfo Bekolo Battery, hashtag Jeep Wrangler Bede, and hashtag Shea Wrangler. So this is a proof. Uh, the picture is actually there. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's a card like that. You can also go and check it out yourself. Where Wendy Shea is telling each and every one of you that if you think she does not own the um, uh, Jeep Wrangler, she is the real owner. Congratulations, Wendy Shea. I'm sure you, you've changed the mindset of the people that you are worth only iPhones and tablets and maybe those things. You've shown them that you are bigger than that. Today you are showing us a Wrangler. Who knows? The next thing might be a mansion. In fact, a big one, of course. This is what we have for you today on the quick news here on Samiflex TV. Remember that this compilation will be coming to you every weekday, Mondays through to Fridays at 9 p.m on sami flex tv so share with someone tell someone that if you are busy and you cannot read what is trending the day with the quick news on sami flex tv you can get all once again i am the chief editor sami flex and i did this with k-boy as well as currency for sami flex tv in god we trust we out mm -hmm.